Am I moving to would I move to Cincinnati? Huh? Bro, I'm never gonna live in Ohio. What is wrong with y'all? If I would not live in Cleveland, why would I live in Cleveland Jr.? Uh, we got like stats right here. Shit, let's see what D-Man talking about. I've been seeing you in 2K Twitter spaces. I just be in there listening to them. Like 80% of them are fucking idiots, bro. I just be in there listening to them laughing. I talked about it. I recorded a video yesterday. I talked about what I, something I heard in a Twitter spaces. I, I was just befuddled at what I heard. Moved to Vegas. I thought about it because there's no state tax, but then I actually visited last summer. It's too hot in Vegas, and it's a dry heat. It was 8 a.m. in the morning, and it was like 105 degrees, and my stomach was sweating. I literally was outside for five minutes, and I felt like I needed to take a shower. I was like, yeah, I can't do this. This is this is too fucking hot. I hate the heat. NBA 2K24 day. Shout out to 2K, man. 2K flew me out to community day, so I was able to capture and play NBA 2K24 early. And I just want to break down a few things. For this is my boy right here, D-Mans. Let's see what he's talking about, 2K. Yeah, that desert heat. So we'll be talking about gameplay, uh, moves you can use, animations. Later on this I was thinking about moving to Houston until I stepped off the plane in late July. You don't want to go to Houston anyway. I don't know if you're aware. There's a syphilis outbreak. There's a syphilis outbreak going on in Houston right now. Syphilis is up like 300% in Houston. I'm not making this up. Look this up, by the way. And you want to hear an interesting stat about it, too? Um, the majority of people that are reporting they've contracted syphilis, it's women. It's like 10% dudes. <laughs> so what does that tell you? <laughs> it means these chicks are all fucking the same niggas, bro. <laughs> Anyways, so I, I, I would not go to Houston, dog. <laughs> So if you want all the Look this up. This is a fact. Look this up. Eh? You want to flood some NBA 2K24. <laughs> Today, let's put a focus on the blowout dribble. You'll be able to use... Dallas is calling, calling your name? I don't know. I don't know. It gives you a quick Would I ever sell my dog for the right price? Nah, that's my dog, bro. Get out quickly in transition. That's my dog. In the, court, the same mechanic can be used for a quick change of pace to quickly blow by unsuspecting defenders. No. I'm starting the 2K flood with this video because it was one of my or do or or guys ain't getting tested. LOL. What? Yo, shout out to Rob with the sub. Now listen to what I just said, bro. You niggas be reaching, bro. <laughs> If syphilis is up 300% in the city of Houston and 90% of the new cases are women, that does not mean the dudes aren't getting tested. That means most of the chicks are fucking the same dude, bro. What are you talking about? Because you're pushing the ball out. You want to. And it means they all nasty. Start a fast break. That is basic math. I'm using this in the front court. I mean, I'm using Kyrie in this video because you'll see Kyrie do this a lot. He's His simp chick kicked in. <laughs> and he'll push dribble. To the left or to the right, boom, he's at the rack. And it works like that on NBA. I've been Gucci, Red. I've been Gucci. Have an open lane. The I'm simp chip open activated. Once you press the sprint button. 2K's cooked up the whistle badges for real. I've been watching some videos. Not videos. Mike Wang tweeted. Um, I don't know, because 2K be lying. So, like, the whistle badge, for those you don't know, is a new badge where apparently you'll get more calls to go to the free throw line when you drive. And people were worried about that being overpowered. It's basically like the prime James Harden badge, basically. But uh, Mike Wang tweeted and said, don't worry about it. It's more, it doesn't really work online. It's more so for like my career. Um, but we'll see how that plays out. But that badge has the potential to be broken and annoy the fuck out of everybody. Catch the ball the game. You can walk it back because what bats are fast on this game. Any breathing room. Let's it go with a three. The jumper looks smooth. Easy for a change of pace, change of direction. Why is that a badge? I don't know. I don't know. Now, that is a good question. It felt like because they announced they 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 have twenty four new badges on top of all the badges returning. It feels like they were just making badges and and because they wanted to say it feels like they were at like fifteen or eighteen badges right in the process of development and then somewhere along the lines the developers were like, well NBA two K twenty four is a celebration of Kobe because the number twenty four. What if we had 24 new badges and they just started making shit up that doesn't even add anything to the game? That's what it kind of feels like, but there's no way to prove that. You have the ball and you tap the sprint. Trigger. Where's the flop badge? <laughs> but if you're mainly an off ball person like me, you can still use this sprint button to do work off ball. So I'm slashing game, right? 
When I play That's five, my phone, my bad. I'm in the corner. I'm still scoring out the corner. Don't get it twisted. But I'm in the corner most of the time. So if my point guard tells me to cut back door. If I the dribble animations do look smooth, but it's like hard to tell what's new in this shit based off. Off ball. Um, what's the name? Based off play now. Nice to have in the game. So yeah, I definitely enjoy the blowout mechanic. I do want to answer a few questions. The blowout mechanic. There was a video I watched from, I think it was Joe Knows. Hold on, let me look this shit up. I would hate to see the badge on Hall of Fame. Like he's the he's one of the few videos I saw where like it actually showed something different. It looks like the um. His shit is trending. Shout out to him. Um, it looks like the defense is going to be a lot better. What's your overall opinion on living in Europe? I have no desire to live in Europe. Uh, we can go visit, but like I'm good off that. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Let me see if I can find it. He was like playing. I, I was watching this earlier before I went to the gym, and he was playing as Kobe, and like Kobe like bumped him and like stole the ball. Let me see if I can. When he's talking about the defense, oh there he goes. Even on the interior, it felt like you stayed between your man and the basket better. Ba -da -da. You, you have oh, there it is. Five steal and gold glove again. Take it with a grain of salt. And playing against the AI. I, you play two K, Majin. I struggle hard on defense. Well, you got to put points towards it. You got to get that print. Last year was the first time I ever made a ball hawk type of build where I gave him a 90 perimeter defense. And then he had like a 95 steal. So I had Hall of Fame glove and then like Hall of Fame clamps, I think. You can feel the difference. Like you're moving a lot fast. You have to put points towards defense. There's a big difference. But like this year, it's, it's going to be even better, supposedly. Not rewards, but... Uh, yeah, rewards you for flicking the right stick in the right direction. It gives you a boost to your steal. I think you guys are really, I think you guys are going to enjoy, especially the beginning of the game when people don't know how to dribble and they don't know the meta moves and and all that. You guys are going to love like you. you have yeah, see, like I like that 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 you can see the difference. Like the animation is like a lot fluid. The way he bodied him up. You guys are going to love like you. Yeah, cut all that fucking dribbling out, boy. 99 perimeter, 99 still. <laughs> and Kobe got, I think in this game, Kobe's got gold glove too. I tried making a shot blocking small forward and got dookie on every time. Yeah, the interior defense was ass last year. Supposedly that's one of the main things they worked on. And they said from their QA testing, it's been reported back. That's the main thing people are happy about. Interior defense has been improved vastly. We'll see. It off them. 2K be promising a lot of shit. Like it. Small detail as well. Some of you guys might care. Some of you guys might not right here. Kobe I like to think I'm a good defender. So it's like, if I can get some of these animations, we got to go crazy. Doing that. But yeah, I thought that was cool. Like I could actually see the difference right there. Um, And then, hold on, let me, before I pull it up. Then Flock put this in the group chat. They like, uh, one of the developers posted all the requirements. This is what I like. I think videos for the builder drop tomorrow or the next day, I think, or the city drops tomorrow. But this is what I do like about it. They're showing a little bit about the builder. It's a lot more, um, let me zoom in. It's a lot more strict. So like, what did it, let me see. Where's the, well, this is for defense. Um, like strength matters. You got to actually have high strength in order to get the box out shit. You said, I got this too. Yeah, I've been reading it. Like clamps, uh, you need, in order to get Hall of Fame, you need 99 defense and a 60 strength. So strength really matters this year. You got to put it on your build. Because I know a lot of times what people do is they'll put like 99 perimeter defense, but then they'll have like 25 on their strength, which is like the default. You actually got to spend points on that. So it does matter this year. Yeah, best build videos are about to be on deck, bro. Because they, they made it, I feel like they made it much more realistic. I never understood how, why you could get like a Hall of Fame shooting badge on an 88. Like you should have like a 95 or higher or something. Um, do you actually enjoy the 2K games or you just cop them as a yearly traditional type of thing? No, I like balling. Like it's like, an, uh, it's like an abusive relationship. I like balling with the boys, but if it's ass, I won't play it. I, I genuinely did like uh, NBA 2K19. I thought 2K23 was okay um was it 2k20 i think that one was all right too there were certain years that i liked more than others 2k18 was fucking ass bro that snatchback was disgusting it depends on what year from the if you don't if you don't play the game and you do just like the kind of the eye test it looks like the same game every year but nah there's always like big differences between the gameplay and the way it moves 
uh for people that that play yeah 18 was fucking horrible that was probably top five worst 2ks uh yeah 17 was the orange juice but 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 yeah they definitely change enough that like people who play we know the difference uh and this is a huge difference right here just you're gonna have to put more points towards certain things if you want you're not gonna be able to do everything you want like last year was fucking ass because um Everybody had a six eight six nine build that could literally do everything. You ain't gonna be able to do that this year based off these stats. The games really ain't that bad. It's just the community trying to abuse everything. Yeah, I would argue. I would argue the developers have good intentions. The problem is the community is toxic as fuck on every level. They try to every ever since it was, I think it was what was the year that who's been playing two K for a while? I want to say it was two K fifteen or sixteen. What was the year that there was a demigod build? There was a build, I believe it was 2K16, where you can make a seven-foot player. Was it 15? And he had the handles like Kyrie Irving and can shoot like Steph, could dunk like Shaq. It was either 15 or 16. The chat can't make it up. Ever since that year, the community has gone to shit. Uh, because ever since then, if you notice, all the YouTubers are trying to find that demigod build. The thing is, was like it was an actual demigod. It was a fucking cheat code, and they never patched that shit. It ruined the game. So ever since that year, everybody's been trying to find the demigod build that can do everything. But before that, like in 2K14, people just I remember having a lot of fun on 14. That was the year that I was doing the trolling videos. People were just getting on, just playing and having fun. But ever since that year, it, the community has become super toxic. Everybody's trying to break the game um, instead of just making something and having fun with their friends basically 2k16 is when they started cracking down yeah but like every year it, it's amazing too because the 2k community contains some of the most low iq individuals but it, it, if there's anything goku once said if, when there's a will there's a way these 2k motherfuckers will find a way to break that builder and find the demigod build you can't you can't expect them to read above an eighth grade reading level but they are going to find a way to break the builder. So I'm going to be interesting to see how this shit plays out. But yeah, I would actually agree with that, st that statement. I don't think it's the developers. It's literally the community is fucking awful. Uh, the 2K18 struggle bus. The 2K18 struggle bus. Um, let's see. Yeah, 2K, they still call PS4 current engine. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. But yeah, if you search 2K24, there's a lot of videos dropping because gameplay is dropping. Uh it is looking better, and I've I've been told some things that this might be the year that they get it together. Because it looks like they're not even talking about last gen. They're not even talking about the PS4 and the Xbox One version of 2K, which is a good sign. That means they're putting all their focus finally on current gen, which is PS5 and Xbox Series X. For all you brokies. Uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but we'll see. We'll see. If you're interested, check out Soul Frame. Oh, I didn't tweet out the stream. Whoops. <laughs> Here, I'll check out Soul Frame for you, my guy. 2K and COD communities both got Hall of Fame low IQs. Yeah. It's funny, too, because they have Hall of Fame low IQs, and they also have something else in common. Call of Duty, uh, the community, they always trying to find the best builds, too. Also, I'm confused about the difference between the $100 and $150 version. I buy the base, the base version. I don't even buy that shit. The homeboys, they all buy the $100 version. I think it comes with uh the nba the nba all access so you can watch all the games i just get they log in um how are the pc releases they're bad there it's the it, 2k on pc is the ps4 version it's not the current gen um what was, what was i looking up soul frame and i think i think the reason they don't it's weird too because video games are made on pcs and then they port it to the console but for some reason they put the PS4 version on PC when they could easily just put the Xbox Series X and PS5 version on PC. My theory, the reason they don't update the PC version is because they don't want to put anti-cheat on PC. That would require money. That's why hackers run loose on fucking